The custom of placing the flag at half staff or half mast actually began at sea. And it's such an old tradition that it's really hard to determine exactly how it began. But some indications are that many, many centuries ago when someone died aboard ship, they kind of let all of the lines go a little bit loose, all of the rigging on the ship. The sails were not placed the way they should be. Even the masts and the yard arms were a little bit askew. And the flag was let, allowed to come down part way from, from where it normally flew. And all of this together said, hey, I'm mourning. I'm not feeling ship shape today. I'm not going forward. I'm here because I'm sad. And so that continued over the years. So the tradition at sea was called half-mast because that's where the, the flag was displayed and it was brought halfway down. Uh, when the flag flew at full staff for full mast, it was up and uh, the ship was underway with the sails uh, uh, full of, of the wind and all was well with the world. If a ship had to be surrendered in battle, its ensign was pulled all the way down its flag, and so that was defeat. Morning was kind of halfway in the middle to say, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling good. I'm sad. I'm in mourning. So when this tradition came ashore, the flag was no longer placed on a mast, but rather on a flag pole or flag staff, and so the term changed in meaning to be described as half staff, so at sea, it's half-mast. On land, it's half-staff. According to the flag code, there are specific periods of time which are designated as mourning with the flag at half-staff for various federal officials. For instance, a president of the United States or a former president, it's uh, 30 days. For some other individual, it's from death to when they're buried, the day of their funeral. Governors have also been given that authority to declare a period of half-staff. So when there is someone who has died who is not on the list, that it's automatic, then the president issues a presidential proclamation stating who has died and, and how, why they're being honored and what the period will be that the flag is flown at half-staff. A governor can also do that. There have been instances where say a student at a local high school dies and I don't think it's inappropriate on the day of their funeral if the cortege is passing by the school to have the school's flag at half staff but just for that brief period but normally speaking we fly the flag at half staff to show the entire nation is mourning not just one individual or one family when you place a flag at half staff it's important if you're raising the flag at that time, you raise it all the way to the top of the flagpole and then lower it to the halfway point or to half staff. And the reason you do that, the top of the flag staff is considered the point of salute. So you raise the flag to the top of the pole to honor the flag and to salute it and then bring it to half staff to show the mourning. At the end when you're bringing the flag down, again you raised it all the way to the top to salute the flag and honor the flag and then it is lowered.